Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use MediaMail. So what is MediaMail? MediaMail is the equivalent of YouTube, but we use it for internal videos. The reason for that is because they're housed within University of Minnesota servers. The videos don't go to China or whatever the server farm is in, uh, in the middle of Iowa or you know wherever. They stay in the University of Minnesota, so they're here locally, and we have greater control over that data. Uh, it also provides greater data security in some ways. If you want to upload your video to Minimail, you'll first need to create an account. You can create an account by emailing mmhelp at cla.umn.edu. And if you are a University of Minnesota student, a faculty member, a TA, or a staff member, you'll be able to create an account, which then allows you to upload videos similarly to what you will be able to upload through YouTube. Once you have an account, go back to this URL mediamail.cla.umn.edu slash mediamail and there you'll be able to if you have a list of videos because I mean in my case I already have an account so I have a list of videos there you can see you can upload a lot of videos some of those are full feature videos in your case you will probably either upload a video if they're under 200 megabytes you can use this interface and upload a video from your desktop or use this password and username and then load a small little program that allows you to upload larger videos including 10 gigabyte videos a file that's 10 gigabytes in size so this allows you to upload any size of video but if they're under 200 megabytes you can use uh, the, the interface that is provided through the web page otherwise you have to download a program and upload it through the program that this is only if you record the video through your webcam or you record it to a camera to a camcorder and then you put it on your computer and you're trying to upload it next. If you want to record that video directly through Media Mail, you just have to click record video, allow the preferences, make sure that it allows you to use the camera, a microphone, and then here you can just uh, hit record. Hi, I am showing how to use uh, some of the Media Mail features so that students can upload videos through Media Mail. And then hit publish. The video will be published and then you have to go to your videos and on the bottom of that list now you have a new video there it'll then ask you to fill in some information about that video and a derivative is going to be made about that video but again you can go either way you can either record them directly through media mail or record them through a webcam or a camcorder and then upload them through media mail so you have the upload video and the record video I already have preferences set, so um, it's going to automatically generate a derivative for me, but I'll also show you how to do that manually. So click on the little wheel or cog to edit the own process video first. And now we'll just put test video. I'll just copy paste it, control C or command C depending on what computer you're using. Try to send them to public or X100 only. Try not to send them to private because if you do send them to private, you have to share them to each person individually. Whereas public or X100 only allow for it to be shared more easily. Public in particular allows you to just send the URL to people. X100 only limits it to only the people that have access to University of Minnesota systems. So once you do that, click submit video. Now the video is going to process a derivative. You upload it now a video that's a raw footage video that is not on a streamable format so that was a 200k video this is the resolution it provides me information here but that video is not playable as a YouTube video yet it has to first create a copy of it with a new codec so that that video then can be used similarly to a YouTube video so right now it's going to create this option for me I'll overview the icons or options you have available so I can edit the metadata or the tags that I added a minute ago. I can create another derivative, which I'll show you how to create another derivative as well. I can download the original or I can share to particular people with X500s. Uh, again, set to public or, pri uh, or X100 only so you limit so that more people can access it and you don't have problems related to access to the resource. Now let's click add a derivative. This is only to show you how to create one of those copies that then you can share. In my case, it's making one automatically here at the bottom because I have preferences set so that it creates one automatically for me. However, you will probably either or 
either use the preferences in ahead before uploading a video or you will have to click add a derivative to create a derivative. All you have to do then is select the type of derivative you want to create. Recommend that you use HTML5 since Flash used to be the most common format but it's increasingly losing favor for HTML5 which is more mobile friendly whereas Flash is non-mobile friendly, at least non-Apple friendly. So submit request. And now let's we'll scroll all the way to the bottom again and it's making a new derivative but we already have one so let's just work with that one. What you will have to do to share your link within the workshop module or any part of Moodle is click on not on the downloadable, not on the HTML embed example or submit to YouTube but on the public playable URL. Click on that one and now at the top you'll have a URL Control C or Command C that URL and then that's what we're going to copy and later paste where you want to paste it. So I'll just paste it on a new tab, but basically paste it within the assignment that you're trying to complete. Thank you.